how much chlorine should you add to your swimming pool? Well, you need to keep adding chlorine until you can register a free chlorine level between one to three parts per million. If you added chlorine to your pool and then the next day you checked the levels and there's no chlorine in it, that simply means that there was an existing level of bacteria or organic debris in the pool greater than the amount of chlorine that you added and you simply need to keep adding chlorine until you can overcome that chlorine deficit and develop a chlorine reserve. Uh, chlorine reserve is where you have free chlorine in the pool waiting for bacteria or organic debris to be introduced such that the chlorine will kill it. It can be a little bit confusing to new pool owners exactly how much you should add because maybe, maybe you've added a bunch already and you still don't have any chlorine in the pool. The first thing you want to check is make sure that you have stabilizer in the pool, uh, that's cyanuric acid, sometimes called water conditioner, and you need to have between 30 to 50 parts per million of cyanuric acid. This acts as um, so, somewhat of a sunscreen for the chlorine and prevents the chlorine from being degraded by ultraviolet light from the sun. If you don't have your cyanuric acid levels in the right uh, range, then what will happen is your, your chlorine will burn off basically as fast as you put it in. But assuming that you do have your cyanuric acid at the right levels, you simply just need to keep adding chlorine every 12 to 24 hours until such time as you can have a free chlorine level between 1 and 3 parts per million in the pool. If this information was helpful to you, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.